Hey y'all, welcome back to Channel Claire. I, I just, why can no one tell this woman that it's an effing rap? It's done. You lost. You said you wanted to move on. You said you wanted to live a life and focus on being a mom. You said you didn't want your phone being hit up with all these lawyers. Why can no one tell this woman to stop? Why is her counsel not advising her to move the F on? Did she not say that she wanted to be left alone did she not say the trial not the abuse the trial was one of the most painful things like the most painful thing she's experienced in her life why is it that we are seeing today a, sub a supplemental memo in support of section Seven of defendant and counterclaim plaintiff Amber Heard's post-trial motion based on additional discovered facts. And these additional discovered facts are apparently them trying to say that Drury 15 is an imposter. And it's just so ironic the word choices that they choose to use because the only imposter that I have seen in this thing well there's been multiple on AH's side but the only imposters I see are you AH you are an imposter you try to act like you are a DV victim an SH victim you had Dr. Hughes coming in acting like she was an actual doctor and knew her shit and she was reading all fake notes and she couldn't even get her stuff together y'all are the imposters and I cannot believe Elaine is still doing this shit after AH embarrassed the hell out of her in court where is Ben where is Rottenborn it's like he literally saw what was up and dipped said I did what it is that you asked me to do what you paid me for I'm gone don't hit up my phone no more don't I don't fuck with you what is wrong with this woman what is wrong with her like it's it's insanity to me it, it's it's honestly very concerning that this woman is incapable of moving on and it's because she wants to sit in court again and be with Johnny that is the only way she will ever be in his presence again and she wanted to say, you know, she doesn't like the attention and she's been harassed and bullied online and this, that, and other. I think that is a bold face, fucking lie. She loves all of the attention, whether it's positive or whether it's negative. She just wants people talking about her, which we are right here. She wants the attention, she wants her name still in the news and it's so sad, AH, that the only way that you can make yourself relevant and be in the news is to like pull some shit like this because this is all you have. You will never be in the news for being an actress and having a new movie coming out. You will never be in the news because you went to an event and wore a gorgeous dress and you're on the top dress list. You will never have any of that attention ever again the only attention that you will receive is from mass amounts of people calling you a effing liar calling you a fucking liar that you are you lie your fucking ass off you sat and you lied in johnny's face in court you rude disrespectful ass bitch allegedly snorted shit up your nose that's what it looked like for me i've seen that video so many times she definitely did something if you guys don't follow the rules you had your girlfriend in court falsifying fucking shit to the point where she had to get kicked out how embarrassing and you're still sitting up here thinking that somehow asking for a mistrial and wanting another trial that you are now on this second time going to win this thing 
And the thing is, we know for an, a literal fact, we know for a fact, if this would have went the other way, there would have been no fucking talks in this shit. There would be no talks about this shit. And if Johnny's team would have tried to bring it up, they would have tried to act like, it doesn't even matter. This is stupid. He's just trying to da 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 But because it was Johnny winning, and you cannot deal with the fact that you lost, and the public knows you as a fucking liar, and you can't show your face out without being ridiculed as you should, this is what you do. So Deadline put out an article, Johnny Depp verdict thrown into chaos as wrong jurors seated in Virginia trial. A.H. says once new trial. Exclusive. Um, so basically, they went through this trial in June. Here we are in July, still on this shit. In this case, it appears that juror number 15 was not in fact the same individual as listed on the jury panel, attorney Elaine adds in language similar to a previous filing on June 24th. Miss Hurd's due process was therefore compromised. Under these circumstances, a mistrial should be declared and a new trial ordered. Are they really about to put us through this shit again? Are they really going to do this to the actual real DVSA survivors and victims? To sit up here and tell these lies yet again for another six weeks? Are you insane? Are you, she's insane. And Elaine is just as bad for going along with this bullshit. They're crazy. They're lit, oh my God. They're, oh my God. <sighs> Not noticed by officers or clerks of the court or by Johnny's team or by Amber's team until this moment. Not noticed by officers or clerks of the court, the younger individual made it all the way to jury without apparently even being asked to produce any ID or with perhaps fake ID, the filing implies. So now y'all trying to say this jury came in and had a fake fucking ID trying to discredit them. This is why they wanted the jury names closed for a year so that they could exactly do this shit should it have turned out exactly the way it was. They're, they're desperate. They're fucking desperate. She does not want to pay Johnny, but I don't understand how going into another trial and racking up even more fucking bills is going to stop you from paying that money. You're going to lose again and again and again. It does not matter who is in that courtroom. And I don't know who the fuck they're going to be able to pick. Somebody in the middle of bumfuck because at this point, everybody and their mother knows about AH. Christian, he does like recreation and stuff and he does like his finance stuff at like his side. He does recreation. So he's doing like camps with kids and whatnot. And they were watching the Aquaman on the charter bus to go to like Ocean City or whatever. And the kids were calling her Amber Turd. Like somehow the kids know. The little kids knew that this woman is called Amber Turd and she's a bad woman. They're hearing it. Like I don't understand. They're going to have to literally pull somebody from bum fuck Timbuk2 to be a jury in this second trial because everybody knows this woman as a liar. Everybody knows... You want to do, you want to embarrass yourself again, Amber? Additionally, it looks like someone filled out the required online information from either intentionally or accidentally to say that they were born in 1945. Unaware of this at the time and during the media frenzy trial, Hurd's defense team now wants an explanation and, sees, and wants to see some comp, uh, consequences which could take the shine off of Team Depp. Nothing is going to take the shine off of Team Depp. God himself put the fucking sun and shone down on Camille. Ain't nothing gonna take the shine off of Johnny the Depp, no matter how hard she tries. And that's what she wants to do because she sees all this news out here with Johnny donating, making his fan clubs. He's out playing all these shows and people are gathering in fucking massive crowds to see him. And she hates it. She hates it. She hates it, hates it, hates it. I know it makes her blood 
fucking boil to see him moving on and enjoying his life and every freaking time seeing him with the biggest smile and just happy and full of life again she hates it because she wanted to destroy that man she wanted to destroy johnny and this further just shows it like she has no intentions of ever moving the fuck on wow wow as the court no doubt agrees it's deeply troubling but why did nobody figure this out until now as soon as they lost, they were digging through everything, digging through everything, digging through everything to try to find some possible thing that they could come at this with to try to get this ver verdict thrown out. Anything possible. Wow. Fairfax County, Fairfax County's juror questionnaire webpage furthers this goal by requiring all residents to log in using their seven digit jury number, zip code, and birth date. Okay. Those safeguards are in place and relied upon by the parties to verify the identity of the correct juror to ensure due process and a fair trial for all litigants. When these safeguards are circumvented or not followed, as it appears to be in this case, the right to a jury trial and due process is undermined and compromised. Neither reps were heard or, uh, heard or dep responded to the request for comment from the deadline. So I don't see how, first of all, this compromised her case at all this supposed juror. And I've seen people in the comments saying possibly it was like a junior, senior type situation and there's two men with the same name living in the same household, but their son and father. Y'all, I, I fucking cannot with this shit. Like I cannot with, I cannot believe she's doing this again. I don't know why. I don't know why I can't believe it because she's desperate as fuck. <sighs> cannot believe we're doing this so this memo was filed on july 8th virginia law provides that only those jurors whose names appear on the list provided under blah 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 shall be used in the trial of cases civil and criminal to be tried during the term fairfax county explains that these potential jurors are selected from the list of registered voters in fairfax county um Jurors are selected randomly by the jury commissioners using lists designated by the courts, such as voters' registration, driver's license, da da da. In this case, the juror panel list included an individual named Blah, but they that has been redacted. Um, where should I go? This is the second page. Um, date of birth, Blah, and then it puts his address as well. This means the individual would have been 77 years old at the time of the trial. The attached voter registration information lists two individuals with the last name residing in that address and it has their date of birth. The same person listed on the jury panel list and blank. Both of these individuals apparently live at the same address. The individual who appeared for jury during this with this name was obviously the younger one. Thus, the 52-year-old sitting on the jury for six weeks was never summoned for jury duty on April 11th and did not appear in the list as required. So they're trying to make it seem like, okay, maybe if you would have had an older jury, they would have sided with Amber versus the, the younger juror who was more like maybe socially conscious and aware. Shut the fuck up. It's, it's just desperate. It's fucking, you lost you got damn fucking lost. And it's fine. You want to fucking do it again? If it's ruled that this can happen, you want to fucking do it again, Amber? Let's do it again. Let's create a fucking circus again. And for the second time, you be known as a liar. How embarrassing would that be? For you to go through two fucking trials and be fucking called a gut and proven a liar. You are you then going to revert and crawl into a fucking hole somewhere and go away from society? At that point, are you going to be done? Like, oh my god. So because of this, they're wanting a retrial is pretty much what I'm seeing. Because of this whole jury situation, the two men living in the same place, but apparently the younger one showed up and the older one didn't. Now all of a sudden it's a fucking issue because Amber lost and didn't get her way. So boo-hoo, whine, 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 cry. I'm going to kick my fucking feet. Like she's, oh my God. 
it is pretty obvious so um laura said it's pretty obvious that this was the father and son senior and junior there was no foul play ah's team had the opportunity to raise this issue while going through the jury process and chose not to they chose not to ah oh. bottom line laura says both sides missed the age difference if the shoe was on the other foot, do you think Elaine would be serving a mistrial on a silver platter to Ben? She would not. She wouldn't give a fuck. Like. Oh, my God. Like, you're not. I don't even fucking care. I don't even fucking care. And I don't think Johnny's team cares either, quite honestly. I, like I really don't like he's like I don't give a single fuck I am living my life I am going on and you are not about to drag me back into this bullshit it, it, it it's, it's further abuse it is further abuse that she will not let him go she is clawing on him with the like a, the succubus she is she will not let him rest like I how does this make you look good, Amber? And then I'm seeing that she's writing this tell-all book and apparently there's a bidding war and it's up to like $15 million. Who the fuck is gonna pay Amber $15 million to write a bullshit-ass book of lies? Of lies! You wanna put your little therapist notes in there that you wrote up after the fucking divorce and shit? Making up lies, your fucking Amy Dune uh, diary. You were gonna add that in your book for everybody to read. Like, come on, girl. Come on. Like, what we saw everything. You literally provided audio of Johnny moaning in pain. Okay? We've heard the horrible shit. We've seen the text messages of him calling you a flappy fish market. We've seen and heard, yes, he does a lot of drugs. He did a lot of drugs. He drank a lot. He likes to fucking smoke. He did a little coke. He did a little ecstasy. But bitch, you were doing the same goddamn thing. What the fuck do you think you're about to get in the tell-all book and write about? You want to be in another goddamn defamation trial because you're sitting there pulling out some more lies? It's, it's madness. It's madness. And why does her counsel not just say, girl, stop. S just stop it. Just why can't someone just sit like Eve? Why can't you just sit Amber down and be like, let's just fucking move on. Let's just fucking live our lives and move on. But she doesn't want that because this woman literally lost everything. She can't move on. She lost everything everything her name her reputation her money her career all because of pure evil cruelty and greed you did it to yourself amber you did it to yourself you want to go for another fucking trial let's fucking do that shit so you can be proven a liar two times over and how is that going to look to the public you think that's going to save your career you think people are going to want to hire you in after being proven a liar two more fucking times like, what do y'all think you're about to do with this? Like, I, I, I fucking can't. I, like, I cannot. So apparently there's, like, footnotes that Laura put up. And I'm just like, okay, so if this is what it means, then how the fuck is she able to proceed with doing this mistrial bullshit? It says, Ms. Hurd recognizes that Virginia Code 8.01-353 states that any error in the information shown on the jury panel shall not be grounds for a mistrial or assignable as error on appeal. So how is she going? Like literally someone said, don't these notes disqualify her argument already? Like for real, like what, what? it says it right there. Like it's not going to warrant a different fucking verdict for you. Like it's not... The jury vote was unanimous and in favor of Johnny. This issue with the jury, even if it were true, would only help them if the rest of the jury would have voted in favor of A.H. Damn. Yeah, someone said, oh, I'm sure her side figured it out, but just was waiting to see if Amber would win or not, and now they're using it for a mistrial. 
But that's probably what they did because they're malicious as fuck and snakes, fucking snakes. It doesn't feel like this was deliberate, malicious, hoodwinking. Summons aren't sent with birthdays. The younger man probably assumed it was for him and not his elderly family member. Seems like a minor clerical error. Neither side caught and they both vetted him otherwise. So, I mean, he was vetted. He was there every fucking day. He made a verdict unanimous, unanimously with the rest of the fucking juror. Like, what the fuck are we doing here? She makes me sick. Like, she's so fucking annoying. I don't think I've ever, like, and Johnny had to deal with this for years with this woman just nagging, nagging, nagging on him. Oh my God. Could you imagine? Like, she would be that bitch that would never be able to let anything go ever. Like, never. I wonder if Johnny is thinking about this or even gives a fuck. Or if Ben and Camille are like, honey, don't worry about it. We got this. Do your show. Do your traveling. We got this. This handle is covered. Don't, don't even fucking worry your little head about it. Because this is dumb. This is very dumb. So now I'm sick of talking about this. I'm going to go do my nails because I got my little kit. I'll show you guys. I guess I should turn some light on, huh? Some fucking border her ass. She's so fucking annoying. Hold on. All right, so I got this little kit. It's to like um, basically gel curl my nails. So I don't have to spend money going to the shop every two to three weeks. So this is the case that it came in. It comes with glue, the nail tips, this little um, tool for like cutting the tips, filer. Okay, and it comes with this light as well. So let me just show you. Oh, this is very small. Okay, so these are the tips. I'm not gonna be using these because I got some um, press-ons that I wanna use. So those are the tips though, if I were really doing it from scratch. This is the little cutter it came with, it's very sturdy. Um, the filer, which I will be using kind of like an application guide. This is the top gel. So this is the top coat. This is the glue, definitely need that. And then this is the cable for this little light here. So I guess you literally only can like put it on one finger at a time underneath here. And then the nails I got, let me show you. So they're very simple, just like sparkly kind of white nails. I wanted to try these off try these out first. Is it not even focusing? Is it focus? It's not even gonna focus. Hold on. It's just not gonna focus for me, but this is like the little sparkly nail pretty much. And I'll show you guys when it's finished. Maybe I'll try to um, show some of what I'm actually putting them on for those who care and maybe want to do this at home for themselves, save some money because getting your nails is getting even more expensive. Oh my God. And I am just trying to save money as much as I can. So I'm going to get into this. So I'm really surprised because I was thinking this thing wouldn't work, but it does. And I can actually feel it. So, I mean, that's a really good thing. This was like maybe $15, this whole little kit. And then these are the nails I'm doing over here. So I'm going to get my nails placed, you know, make sure I know what size to um, put on them. Kind of file them down to match my nails better. And I'm so excited to see how this turns out because y'all, oh my god, if this actually works, I'm going to do this all the time. And I'm going to have my nails any type of way I want anytime. And I can do it however frequently I want. Um, so I'm very excited because I don't, I just think my nail, hands without nails look awful. <laughs> they just look awful. So I'm really excited to see how this turns out and show you guys. And also random, I was thinking about Elon and I was reading some comments and you know, I agree with what people were saying. Yes, Elon can afford the kids. He's like wealthy beyond my brain comprehension. Um, but that does not mean he can be an actual father figure and be there in the children's lives, you know? Sorry. 
that doesn't mean he's going to be emotionally present, you know, that he's going to be taking them to football games or recitals or, you know, be at every single one of his 10 kids' birthdays. And, you know, is he involved in taking them to the practices and, you know, just being there at dinner and the things that fathers do raising their children. So I completely agree with that. I do feel like this is more, what the hell is going on? I do feel like this is more of like a science experiment for Elon or something. And he's just like, I don't even think he's like doing it the regular way. It's like, he's probably doing like the test tubes like he did Amber and just having all these children with all these different women. Okay, this is ridiculous, sorry put you on the tripod but um having these children with all these women and he wants to have different types you know of each kind because this is my just conspiracy theory weird shit i think of when i'm high apparently people say like elon has like this god complex and like he thinks he's gonna like save the world and this that and other and it's just like well, maybe, like, we know Elon has this whole SpaceX thing and, you know, sending people to space and this, that, and the other. He can do that. He has the funds to do that. Um, and he's obsessed with Mars. And I'm just thinking, like, is Elon trying to start a new population? Like, like is he thinking, like, okay... God created the heavens and the earth and he made Adam and Eve so maybe he's like making these kids artificially you know and he's thinking okay we're gonna go to the heavens maybe this world's gonna go to shit as we know it already is it's well on its fucking way the world's gonna go to shit they're gonna have this little rock and he's gonna put all his little women and his uh kids that he's made and shit and um which is really interesting i was watching popcorn planet and people were thinking that he has a lot more kids than what we even know about you know like tens and 20s and shit like that i am so oily oh my god um so he's gonna put his all his little baby baby mamas and all the little kids not little probably be grown at that part at that point and um unless the world ends tomorrow <laughs> which is good you never know and put them on this spaceship to mars and then when they get there He's gonna like have them populate together, you know, in that way and make more humans and make a human civilization on Mars because he thinks he's God. <laughs> and he has the money to do it. Like imagine having money enough to send people to space. Like Jeff Bezos, like you go into space on a day trip, like it's, it's crazy. Nobody should have that amount of money and have access to that amount of money. Like, I just, while well, people are out like starving and like can't get food and all that shit, like it's just not fair. Life isn't fair, I guess though. It's just wild. It's wild to me. Ooh, that feels good. But um, yeah, it's just, it's just a lot. So I'm gonna get started on my nails. I need to kind of watch that tutorial again so I know where to start. And once I watch it one, two times, I'll be good. And then I'll show you guys um, the finished product and then maybe we'll talk about Harry winning his case against some publications. Um, parent win for um, Harry and Meghan, so. We'll see what that's about, because I saw it briefly, but I wanted to delve into it a little bit more. Just haven't had time today. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit with the final product. I am drinking my wine out of a basic ass cup. So in the state I live in, you can't buy alcohol at all. And, um, grocery stores, 7-Elevens or anything like that. So like, you always have to go to a liquor store. It's likely more expensive. So um, when Christian goes into Virginia, um, he'll go to the damn uh, Lidl. Is it Lidl or is it Aldi? I think it may be Lidl. But they have wine and they have like cheap wine, like $5, $8, $10. I think the highest bottle I saw was maybe like $15. 
but it's affordable for me yes i'm not bougie like that i wish maybe one day um so like we can just go and like rack up on bottles of wine and stuff and like this is one that we got vintage vintage northwest uh 2020 it's a riesling columbia valley washington state it's pretty good um it's a three on the dry to sweet scale um and i like riesling because it's like not too sweet not too dry it's like the perfect touch for me so i'm gonna drink my wine do my nails watch my shows and we'll be back okay so these are the nails with no top coat on um i feel like they're very like they're on there like i feel that they're on there i can kind of go like this and they're on there so these are them i'm gonna do a top coat i'm gonna cure them some more underneath the light and then um see how they look but this is prior to the top coat and the top coat's you know glossy it's gonna make it shiny and just add that like pop to it so i'm pretty pleased right now you guys like what the fuck like what have i been doing i've been paying I've been paying way too much. Let's just talk about that. I've been paying way too fucking much. And I actually got these at CVS because I'm just impatient as hell. And the uh, um, nails that I really wanted to put on that I ordered from Amazon aren't gonna get here till like a couple of days. And I'm just impatient because the set came and I'm like, what am I gonna just do? Sit there and like look at it? No, of course not. So I got these as more so a practice, but I absolutely love them. And it was so simple. I literally just took this glue, put it on my bare nails, put it underneath the little light, let it cure for a little bit, let it cure for a little bit. Then I took the nails, the actual nails, and then I um, put a little glue on them, then immediately put it underneath the light, pressed it down, and had it like cure underneath there, and that was it. That was literally it. Um, I don't know if some of them are crooked just because it's my first time, but baby, I'm going to get better, better with time, better with practice. But for the first time, I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it at all. So I'm going to do, I'm going to cure them a little bit longer without the top coat. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the top coat on them, come back and show you guys. Okay, so they are all done and I'm very impressed you guys like I'm hella fucking impressed like I'm Y'all what the fuck like Look at look at this shit. I'm never Going I won't say never because it is fun to like just go to the shop and get your nails done and whatnot but I you know on the reg I ain't gonna need to go to the nail shop. This is it. I am so happy for TikTok. I have learned so much shit on TikTok. I'm not even gonna lie. People try to play TikTok. But TikTok is popping for a fucking reason because, huh? Me. <laughs> I am so impressed. And I don't even feel like the video does it justice. Like, they're so good. They're so fucking good. And I'm so excited for the next set already. Um, especially when I get the ones that I ordered from Amazon. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all ain't gonna be able to tell me nothing. Nothing at all. The top coat just really like popped out the sparkles too. and made them glimmer and shine. So I just filed them up real quick. Boom. Look at that. Look at that beautiful so now i have my nails again i'm so excited i'm so happy i'm so happy um yeah so we're gonna get into some harry and um megan drama um let me see anything else has happened with this whole amber heard bullshit should be saying her name a h bullshit and it's like it's so sturdy too like i literally like i'm not afraid to like do anything like i feel like i can grab anything like it's not like i'm like ooh, 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 like scared that like they're gonna pop off like it feels 
very secure. So again, for people who are trying to save money, like I ain't trying to take money out of nobody's pocket, the nail shops, like I know obviously they need to make money. I mean, how am I gonna take money out of their pockets? But anyway, for people who are trying to save money and who want an alternative, maybe you're in a rush and you don't have time to go to the shop, the girl, ain't, the girl you go to um, doesn't have an appointment, Y'all, this little kit is called Beatles. Beatles Nail Tip and Glue Set. It was on Amazon, like 15 bucks. Um, it comes with the top coat here. I brought the, no, it comes with the nail glue. I brought the top coat separately and then it comes with tips. So like if you were fancy and you knew how to like do your own designs and wanted to paint yourself and do all that shit, you got that. And you got the um this thing and the light works very well so i'm i was very shocked and surprised that it worked as well as it did i pretty much just used the time like i would on um you know like when you go to the nail shop they typically set the thing to like 30 to 60 seconds so i just counted that in my mind um and they're completely dry and we're ready to go I'm so excited. I'm so happy now. Like, cause this, getting my nails done is something that I enjoy. I love having my nails done. It's an expression. So now that I can still do this while saving money, because this is gonna last me a long time. And really this is all you need. And you can buy your little press ons. Like the ones I got were like $8 at CVS. You could probably get them cheaper somewhere else. Um, so yeah I, I i'm fucking hype i'm i'm all for this <laughs> thank you tiktok beautiful fucking beautiful like i'm so excited i'm so happy about it mm, 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 mm. okay also really good news for johnny i've seen some people upset about it i don't know why but netflix is betting on Johnny's new movie, like financing and helping and having it streaming on their platform. Do you guys know how good that, like I can watch Johnny and his new movie in the comfort of my home. It's gonna break records. <laughs> it's gonna break fucking records, please. Fucking please. So going into, so I'm very happy for him very very happy for him i think that's gonna be a very lucrative deal for him <laughs> that little bit of two million dollars he had to pay him ah is nothing it's a drop in the bucket truly a drop um but getting into harry and megan i saw this article and I'm like, okay, so I guess this has to do with the whole security case that we were talking about the other day. So I'm like, okay, what is going on? Everyone's saying it's a win for Harry. Be afraid. If you're getting a call from Harry and Meghan's lawyer, you should be afraid because this was a big win. So Prince Harry wins first stage of case against the mail on Sunday over defamatory story. So this is somebody else, <clears throat> similar to Johnny, not so, you know, defamatory situation, similar. Johnny was defamed via an article. You cannot just say any fucking thing out of your goddamn mouth and think that it's okay if it's lies, if it's defaming somebody. If it's causing them to lose money and Johnny proved that okay so now we have this situation with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle winning this case against the mail on Sunday over defamatory story so let's see what they have to say um, blah 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 a whole bunch of fluff um, the prince who is also known by his title as the Duke of Sussex filed a claim against the newspaper's publisher, Associated Newspapers Limited, ANL, over a series of articles which he claimed caused serious damage to his reputation and substantial hurt, embarrassment, and distress, which is continuing. A judge has, has today ruled the Mail on Sunday's articles about Harry were defamatory. So they ruled it was defamatory. They ruled that it was hurting 
Harry's reputation and cause some serious damage and embarrassment, all right? What these articles are, because I haven't, I mean, I'm not in the UK, I don't read the mail on Sunday, so I don't exactly know what these articles are, but this judge has ruled that it was defamatory, all right? Maybe if you're in the UK, you can enlighten me a little bit on what these articles were saying. I'd be happy for that. Um, this is very much the first phase in a libel claim, Judge Nicklin said. The next step will then be for the defendant to file a defense to the claim. It will be a matter of determination later in the proceedings whether the claim succeeds or fails, and if so, on what basis. Harry launched the lawsuit in February of this year after the Mail on Sunday reported on another legal claim he was pursuing against the British government, which I guess is probably the whole situation with the security, which we've talked about. In this case against the UK's home office, Harry is seeking a judicial review in order to force the government to provide police protection for himself and his family, including Archie and Lilibet, his two young children with Markle. The family lost their full protection after Harry and Meghan stepped back, stepped back from the official duties in 2020 moving first to Canada and then to California. So that step back, this is a US article, this is Variety. So that step back was nicer than I feel what I would have read in maybe a UK article. They probably would have said left or like some dramatic term, but they said stepped back. Um, so they went to Canada, then they went to California. Um, the Sussexes <laughs> have indicated they're willing to pay for security themselves but want official police protection via the home office rather than private security. However, there are fears this could result in precedent in which the UK government is expected to provide police protection for any celebrity visiting the UK, potentially straining the police forces. I guess I could understand that. Um, Harry claims the Mail on Sunday reported on this case against the Home Office. They implied his offer to pay for the security himself wasn't true. So Harry's pissed because I guess the Daily Mail on Sunday came out and said that Harry was not at all willing to pay for his own private security, when in actuality he was willing to pay for that private security. They just wanted this police security apparently from the Home Office. Um, the story ran in print and the online un, uh, ran in print and online under the headline "Exclusive: How Harry." Let me start that over. The story ran in print and online under the headline "Exclusive: How Prince Harry Tried to Keep His Legal Fight Over Bodyguards a Secret," implying that there's some indiscretions going on there. Then, minutes after Mo Mos broke the story, his PR machine tried to put positive spin on the dispute okay so pretty much the judge has ruled that the daily mail on sunday is wrong for sitting out there saying that harry wasn't trying to pay for his own private private security because he was in fact wanting to pay for his private security which i'm sure they're doing already but they're wanting this police security from the home office so i'm sure they had proof i'm sure they had you know stuff written up and whatnot and they're like the judge ruled in his favor. So that is a big win for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. So I'm sure that they are very happy today. Um, and the hearing was held yesterday. So I guess they were very happy yesterday and probably still are now. But I just think it's interesting. I just think it's really interesting because it's just like, if you have private security what is the police security going to do so much more than what the private security is going to do? Is it because they, they can be armed? But I guess you can hire private security that have that is armed as well. So I'm kind of curious what type of protection the police would be able, the home office police would be able to provide versus private security because I'm pretty sure you'd be able to curate your, you know, your security to whatever needs that you have. Similar to Johnny, he has security on him every fucking where. They're like pulling him away from people of this, that, and the other. They are with him in um, his houses when he was dealing with bullshit with AH and pulling him out of situations of her. So I'm just like, I'm very curious what the difference is there. 
I don't know anything about police or, you know, uh, stay away from that. But I'm interested in that. So that's what's going on with Harry. That's what's going on with Megan. I'm going to check Twitter one more time before I leave you. Let me see. Let me go home. Let's see what else is going on here. Probably nothing. Johnny doesn't give a fuck about any of this shit. He is living his life and I am so for it. Yeah, it doesn't really look like anything else is going on. So I'm gonna enjoy my evening. And I hope that you guys do too. It is the weekend. Do your fucking thing before we have to go back in this shit on Monday. I'm leaving for LA on Wednesday. On literally Wednesday. Like, I've got to pack all my shit up. I've, like, been looking in my closet and, like, stuff that I can take. You know, I, I just... I've got this big ass suitcase that I borrowed from my Nana. It's, it's massive. So I should only have to take my purse, a carry on, and then that big ass suitcase. We're literally going to be gone from like maybe like five, six days. But, you know, a girl has to have things to change into depending on what we're doing. But I do know as soon as we land in LA, we're going to be hitting Venice Beach. We're getting lunch. We're going to be getting it. So I'm definitely going to be taking you guys along with me. Um, we have a whole plan. Um, so it's going to be interesting. I'm excited. I'm going with my mom and my sister. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, it's actually my mom's birthday on the 13th, the day that we're leaving. So this is kind of like a birthday gift she wanted to like take us like or whatever. And I was like, Ma, you better fucking tell me if something is wrong. <laughs> because I overthink everything and it's horrible because you don't want to put negative energy into the world. But I was, I literally was like, you better tell me, you better not take me on this trip and tell me some like scary shit with you. Like, are you good? And she was like, I'm completely fine. I'm healthy. Like, why would you think that? Da, da, da. I'm like, because I'm crazy. And I'm like, I've got fucking trauma because I have an aunt of mine who died from ALS a couple of years ago and that has just witnessing that witnessing someone deteriorate literally in front of your eyes someone who is perfectly healthy full of life like she was my auntie Debbie was just everything she was so full of life she would go anywhere do anything talk to anybody just that person you know and then she got ALS out of fucking nowhere like this is like out of nowhere if you don't know what ALS is it's a horrible horrible disease um she got ALS out of nowhere and within six fucking months she was gone it was one of the hardest fucking things I've ever gone through an experience and seen to just watch somebody deteriorate before your eyes it, it's it was horrible um so I just from that I don't guess I have unresolved issues with that and I'm just always afraid of like someone leaving me and my mom is everything to me and I was like girl you better not be taking us here as like some last whatever because I overthink everything and she was like I'm fine I'm perfectly healthy and I was like thank you but like I had to ask for myself because I had like this anxiety obviously I need to go to therapy but um I'm just so excited to be able to spend this time with my mom and my sister and just exploring and seeing new things and places. So um, it's going to be interesting. I'm going to take you guys. So think about liking, think about subscribing if that's something you'd be interested in. Um, we're going to LA, we're doing San Diego, and all like the tourist shit. So <laughs> um, it's going to be great. So I'll see you guys a little bit later um, in another video. And